So normally when we save projects, we're actually going to be saving a project file, which is just kind of like saving this playlist with all of your settings so that when you open it up again, you get the same set of layers. They point to the same data and every, all of the settings have been retained. So let's save a project. I've already saved mine secretly, um, but you can, uh, you can hit save. I'll hit save as, and um, I go to the desktop here. I'm gonna save mine on the desktop. I'll call mine my first app. Let's see, app, um, save. And now we should be able to close out. And there it is. So this is, this is my file right here that I've saved. And I should be able to open this up. And you'll notice that sometimes when you open up a saved file, the Google satellite image will get all kind of messed up. Not to worry, uh, just zoom in or out. You can use the mouse wheel or just you know zoom out a little bit and it should line itself back up. Um, it's because they're in different coordinate systems, but we haven't talked about that yet. So, so I'm gonna zoom into the area we care about. And I would say that the easiest thing to do right now would be to go up to project and save as an image. And that will be the easiest way to get what you have on your screen to something you can share instead of a project file. So, you know, you might spend a little bit of time and line up your screen to be exactly the shape that you want it to be, like this. And then um, you can see that sometimes, again, the Google satellite layer is being a little difficult. Um, if it's not lining up, you can even just take it off if you don't if you don't want that to be part of it, but it is, it kind of matters for us. So when I zoom in, I'll check to make sure that it, it's all connecting together. Let's see, I think it's working out right now. Let's just get a, yeah, I think that's, I think that's lining up. The aerial image can help us see that, yes, this is the Winooski, so I'm sure that it is. Okay, so if this is my map and I want to just get this ready for, Sharing, you can just go project, save as image. And I can say my first map, and it will save it as a JPEG. I can say OK. And then it spits out our map to put inside of a Word document or on a presentation or that type of a thing. Now, if you don't like JPEGs because they look um, there's, they look kind of funny sometimes. They look a little crusty because they compress the image. You can also save um, as an image, and you can do it as a TIFF. So you can say my first map and save it as a TIFF. And let's check out how that worked. Sometimes what we're going to find is that because we're using the Google satellite layer, it's in a different, what we call projection, or it's actually in a completely different coordinate system than the rest of our data. And so we might have to deal with that, but let's go and check out and let's see if our, our TIFF worked. I'm gonna open this with Photo Viewer. And it looks like the TIFF worked out. And I don't know if you can see, but it looks a little cleaner, right? If, um, if you're to zoom in here, you're gonna see that the resolution is still only screen resolution, right? It's 72 dots per square inch. So that's gonna be okay for a PowerPoint or um, things like that. But if you wanna do a high resolution print, we're gonna, we're gonna have to deal with that because I think the print composer will, will be a little messed up, but let's, let's do it because I know we should. So let's say you want a high resolution printout of this image. Well. The way you do that, if you want to make a layout, is you go up to Project and you go to New Print Composer. Print Composer is kind of, it's like the InDesign of this program, even though it's not even close to as good. <laughs> but this is all free software, so we can't complain. New Print Composer, and I'm going to call this my first layout because this is really a window that helps us make layouts. So I say, okay, my first layout, that's nice. And boom, we get this kind of new window that comes up and it's called My First Layout. And there are a lot of options here, a lot of things you can do, um, but there are only a couple buttons that we're gonna worry about. 
One of them is add map, and that will add the map from your current canvas. So I would just jump in and add a map, but I want to change the size of my paper. So if we go to composition over here on the right, this shows us what's going on in our layout right now. And right now we have something called A4, which is a, a kind of standard for printing. I want to go down to tabloid though, 11 by 17. You'll see ANSI A and ANSI B. These are all um, kind of US standard measurements. So letter eight and a half by 11, you're used to that. Um, you might be able to find legal in here somewhere as well. There it is, eight and a half by 14. Tabloid though, it's kind of a nice, uh, it's basically two letters next to each other. So if you were to, on the long edge, put those next to each other, you'd get a tabloid, which is 11 by 17. And so I'm gonna do that because I know my printer will handle tabloid. So that's nice. Um, if you want, you could change the orientation from landscape to portrait. I think this is fine for now. So I'm just going to, you know, I've got my selection tool if I wanna move items. But I'm gonna just go right here and click this button, which is add new map. So I'm gonna just click, drag, and in comes my map. And aha, you're gonna notice something that I noticed, and that's that the background not lining up. Um, this could be a problem. So how are we gonna get the map to line up? We're not sure if we can even do that. Um, Let's see if we change the scale, if that does it. So item properties, here's the scale. Okay, it's 759,000. That means one inch here is 759,000 inches in the real world. Let's change it to 800, two, three. And let's just see if that makes a difference. Did it line up? Doesn't look like it. So you're kind of, you're kind of stuck by this, and I'm going to tell you that the reason we're having all these issues, these issues are because the Google Earth layer is in a different coordinate system, like I said before, than the other data. So I guess we can do either a couple of things. We can go back and change our map so that there's no transparency and we just shut off the, the Google layer and kind of deal with it as, as it is. Um, or we can keep messing around here. Uh, I'd rather not spend a lot of time kind of messing around. So I'm gonna just delete this, close, and I'm gonna get rid of the Google satellite layer because I know it's causing us problems. And now I have to go, and I don't know if you remember, but we had kind of alpha or transparency on these layers. And so I'm gonna go turn those up. In New Hampshire, I'm going to say, okay, the simple fill, the fill, Let's make it back at 255, which is full color. Okay, apply. And that still looks kind of gross. Maybe we should even choose a different color, a darker yellow. Okay, apply. Starting to look a little better. And let's get rid of this transparency for the whole layer. You can make it zero, apply. There, that's better. Okay, so let's do the same thing for Vermont. Okay. For Vermont, we can, let's see, turn the alpha all the way back up. The alpha channel at 255, okay. Shut the transparency off, apply. There we go. Um, I don't really like that color, so I'm gonna change it to something a little darker. Okay, more muted. Okay, so this will print out. Um, and what we can do is I'll zoom out a little bit and there we go. That's not too bad. Now we don't get any of our topography, but we could go find a vector roads layer and lie that and lay that next to them as well. So if we got the vector roads layer, you know, maybe we could add mountain data, which I can show in another video. But uh, if you want to get a high resolution printout, you're going to probably have to get rid of this Google satellite layer. Um, you can mess around and try to figure it out, but for the most part, I would just say this is what we'll have to do. So now we go project, I'm going to say print composers, my first layout. This is the composer we had just made. And now let's try it again. I'm going to add a new map.
now. Like this. There we go. Now I can, you can see, uh, depending on what size you scale this, you'll get different, um, a different amount here. So let's add a title. And I click the T right here, which is a new label, and I can say, uh, oh my gosh, look how small it is. Well, instead of composition, I can come to item properties and say this is the uh, cultural region of the upper valley. I can hit tab or enter and stretch this out. And there it is. It's too small. So I'm going to go to font. And then I can bump this up to, I don't know, let's see, 36 is what that does. Okay, great. It's getting cropped, so I make the square bigger. And there it is. And then I'm going to add a scale as well. I can do that scale like this, right? There's a scale. So, you know, there's any number of things you can do. Um, I'm sorry about the Google Earth layer, but again, this is completely free software, so we, we can't, you know, beggars can't be choosers. Um, but when we uh, export this now, we can do that as a PDF, as a high resolution image, um, as a vector file. You could bring it into Illustrator if you wanted to. So I'm going to export as a PDF and let's just see. Uh, it's like, oh no, we're worried this isn't going to work because you've used transparency with vector layers. But let's just go ahead and do it and see if it will work. Um, let's say my first uh, layout is what we're doing. Save. And it's going white because it is just thinking. There we go. So we know it's been exported. Let's go see if it worked out. Let's go to my first layout, open it. And there we go. And if we zoom in, uh, it's pretty good. It's not bad. That resolution is pretty high. So for better or worse, there you go. And what you can do again is go back online and download any of those other shape files and add them in. And that will create kind of more um, context to the map without the Google Earth layer. Great. I hope that was fun. Uh, Please feel free to send me an email if you have any questions, and we will see you in another future video. Thanks.